Hello and welcome to April the 6th. Can you believe we're already in the second quarter of a brand new year? And and the next few days, we started yesterday, we're talking about our dreams, but this whole month we're talking about imagination. Make sure you grab the ebook on imagination. The difference between a pipe dream and a real dream is where we go with that idea. A pipe dream is is so uh, fantastic, we typically use it to escape reality rather than to engage the future. But an actual God-given dream will burn in your heart for so long that it becomes inescapable. It will embed itself in your mind so deeply that it becomes part of who you are. I've got to, I've got to accomplish it. It's why it's so important to capture that dream and to give it definition before time and the harsh realities of circumstances start causing it to die. The prophet Habakkuk in the Old Testament said this. He said, write the vision, make it plain. When you write down your goals, you dramatically increase the likelihood of accomplishing them. And then you got to make it so plain that you can read it while you're running. That's that's pretty plain and pretty simple. Uh, I encourage people to take some time to write down your goals. Write down your dreams. Over time, if a dream isn't isn't real, it will diminish. It'll die of natural causes. But by writing it down, a real dream will begin to take shape and definition. It will almost become tangible. So write down your dreams. In in fact, start right now to write down everything that you may want to achieve with the rest of your life. Find some time uh, daily, if possible, to write down your family dreams, uh, your health dreams, your financial dreams, your spiritual dreams, even the dreams that involve maybe your physical goals. I'm trying to lose some weight, the vacation that you want to take, the things that you want to own. Write it all down. Record it. Let your imagination run free. Pretend like you've got a magic pen and anything you write down will come to pass. Without limitation, just write it down. Mark Miro, I talked to you about him a couple of days ago, wrote down his dreams so that he could remember them. And, and you too have to write down your dreams. Start today. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait. As you do, you'll discover some amazing things. For instance, you'll discover your passion. You may also discover some of your character. You will discover how to develop your dream into incredible, precise pictures of what you want to do, where you want to go, and how you want to get there. That's what we're talking about over the next few days. So don't miss tomorrow right here on The Daily. We're going to be talking about how to develop a plan, and I want you to get the game plan. I've put this together with some great friends of mine uh, that if you tried to hire these people, it would cost you tens of thousands of dollars, but because they're friends, they joined me for this 30 days and help coach you uh, to a, a plan that you can commit to God. The Bible says, commit your plans to me and I'll cause them to succeed.